Hey guys, it's Kick Up Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. Today's gonna be a little bit different because I am on a run, so I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of um, my like five minute, ten minute makeup routine. I literally just put foundation, bronzer, and a little bit of blush. Um, I don't do my eyebrows, I don't put lashes, I don't put eyeshadow, none of that. I did have a previous video showing you all the different facial cleansers that I use, but my facial routine has changed since I was able to get my hands back on the Kiehl's products. They did have a deal at Bloomingdale, so I was able to get my hands on a bunch of different Kiehl's products. So let me show you what I got. <laughs> my face with the ultra facial cleanser and this is good for all skin types whether that be oily dry or a combination you literally only need like two pea size drops and you'll be good this facial cleanser does make my face feel super smooth so that's a plus my face is really dry right now I haven't applied any moisturizer and anything else because I'm about to show you what I use so last night I did use this rare earth deep pore cleansing mask I've only used this twice, but this has seriously helped me. I have huge pores on my nose, and this really, really helps to clean out those pores. And then I use a toner to tighten up those pores so they don't get clogged. So I used this last night, and the time before that I used it two weeks ago just because I was at my boyfriend's house for a long time. Um, but I would use this once a week if I could. And you only need a very, very thin layer on your face. I will leave all the prices and the links to these in the description box below, so check that out. Okay, so for toner, the lady was really, really nice. I had to spend up to 150 in order to get all these other things free so she was really nice and gave me this sample and she also gave me a bunch of these samples she gave me like 20 of these lately i've been using the blue astringent herbal lotion it's not a lotion it's actually just a toner and sometimes i use the ultra facial toner i just take a cotton pad and i cut it into four and today i'm just going to be using this since it's already open i just use a little bit this is enough for these products, a little goes a long way, which is what I love. I first just apply it on my nose so I can tighten up those pores. And then a little bit on my cheeks because I do break out a lot. And then anywhere else where I have acne. After that, I do sometimes use this Daily Reviving Concentrate. And I threw away the package, so I don't know what it has in here, but this smells so amazing. It smells like lemon, and I love lemon. Mm. It kind of smells like um, like those lemon head candies, if you ever had those. I don't even squeeze any into my hand. I just take what's remaining on the outside of the um, little squeezy thingy. <laughs> I just apply it to those same areas. And it's so lightweight, it doesn't even feel like I'm putting anything on my face. And this was one of the products that came free when you spent up to $150 at Bloomingdale's. I bought all my stuff on December 1st, so they might not have it anymore, but it was a really, really good deal. After I do that, I use the Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Corrector. And if you can see, I have a lot of dark spots from acne scars and stuff, uh, mostly on this side of the cheek and... Um, a little bit on my nose and this stuff has seriously helped me so much. It was really really bad This is the best my skin has ever been um since like eighth grade what I do is I just take the What the hell is this called like little like? Syringe type thing little drop is all you need rub it on all the spots where I have my dark spots You can use this any place you want to lighten up the skin uh, I wouldn't use it on your eyes though. And I also put it on like any acne that I have because this does have vitamin C in it. So after that, I use the Ultra Facial Cream. Which looks like this. This is good for all skin types as well. And you literally only need this much for your whole face. I use less than this. I'm really stingy with my products because these are expensive. These will last me about probably two years to be honest. Because I did have the smaller size that's three times smaller than this. And that lasted me a year. So these might even last me three years, depending on how often I use them. So I just tap it on this, um, my cheeks, my forehead, nose, and chin. And then I rub it in. For the lips, um, I either use this Burt's Bees Beeswax Lip Balm. And this is in the Peppermint. I love this stuff. It smells so good. Or I use the Egyptian Magic Cream. The label came off, but this is really, really good too. I've had this. I want to say I've had this for two years, and I still have this much 
I just use this for my lips now. I used to use it on my face, but it was a little bit thick. So once I found the Ultra Facial Cream, I just stuck to that because that is really lightweight. It doesn't feel thick. I used about four products on my face already, and my face still feels really lightweight, and it feels really hydrated. This stuff is really thick. I wouldn't recommend using this on your face, but you can use this on your body and your lips. I want to say this is 25 This was about $80. Um, this was, I think, 40 or 50 Maybe somewhere in between. Um, and then this was 50 as well. This is also, I think I got it on Amazon for 40 Um, This is not Kiehl's product. This is Egyptian Magic Cream. If you could see, all of these products right here are the same size tube. And this is 4.2 fluid ounces, which will last you a very, very long time. Unless you go ham on your products. So I got all of that, um, except for the Egyptian Magic Cream. All those Kiehl's products I got... For, I think I spent over 150 it was probably like 170 180 and then I got these products for free. I got this little concentrate, this is a sample. But I think after I finish this, I actually want to buy this product because this smells so good. I honestly don't really know what it does. I think it's just a hydrating solution, um, but it smells so good and I like it. They gave me this huge tub, this 8 ounce tub of soy milk and honey whipped body butter so it's like a lotion and i just like to use it sometimes on my body my arms my legs and it just keeps me really hydrated um they also gave me this calendula and aloe soothing hydration mask i was gonna use this last night but i decided um, my nose pores are really big so i had to use this face mask but i think in a couple days i will try to use this one because i'm just really intrigued hmm this smells good it smells like lemon. I mean, it looks like this. It's like a gel type. And like aloe vera is like a gel, you know? So that was free. And then it came with this amino acid shampoo and conditioner. So I used this only once, so I don't have like an opinion on them yet. This stuff was all free after you bought $150 worth of stuff. And they also give you $20 off. So really... You could spend like 170 worth of stuff, you know? But after she took off the $20, it came out to like 179 or something like that. So I ended up spending like 200 almost. Um, but it was a really good deal because look at all the stuff that I got. So that's all the stuff that I use on my face and body and hair. In my other video, I did mention it's important to exfoliate once or twice a week. But with the, uh, what is it, Rare Earth face mask that I use, the clay one, that takes out all my pores. I didn't even have to exfoliate or anything. But if you want to exfoliate and you're on a budget, I would still recommend using a baking soda and water paste. So you just take uh, a little bit of baking soda and just a few drops of water until it turns into like a uh, like paste, like a toothpaste kind of. Not a toothpaste because toothpaste is more like, I don't know how to explain it. But it's it'll turn into like a thick paste. And you just want to like lightly scrub um, all around in circular motions. Not too hard because that may irritate your skin. Especially get the nose because, uh, at least for me, I have a lot of pores on my nose. Just do that for maybe like one to two minutes. And then wash it off with warm water or you can use a wet warm cloth. It's totally up to you. But after that, I do recommend using a toner because toners have changed my life. <laughs> I've only recently started using a toner and seriously, it's tightened up my pores. I used to be disgusted looking at my nose because they were so huge. But after using the toner, it really closes them up so it prevents any dirt to get clogged up in there and stuff like that. So let me just get right into my like five minute makeup routine. For foundation, I do use LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation. If you didn't see my review, go and watch it. I will leave it in the iCard above and in the description box below. I use a combination of Warm Honey, so I just do like one squirt, and Cafe. Don't mind my uh, Dirty Beauty Blender if you saw when my boyfriend did my makeup, uh, he, uh, yeah, he put some lipstick on there, so it kind of stained. Um, and this is the only good beauty blender that I have right now. I just washed it, so this is damp. Make sure your beauty blender is damp. Tap, 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 tap. Well, usually I would just go over my eyebrows because I would do my eyebrows, but since I'm not doing my eyebrows today, I don't want any of that foundation to stain my hairs. So I'm just avoiding my eyebrows today. 
for those of you who saw my product review, Cafe was a little bit too dark and Warm Honey was way too light. So I just mixed them because um, the color in between is a cool tone and I am warm tones. And with this foundation, I did find that it was better not to set it with a powder. At least with the Maybelline powder because it makes the foundation look really ghostly. So I'm just going to pat my eyes once more and then look down until my foundation dries. This dries pretty quickly so you can just fan your face. Don't forget to get under your chin and neck as well. For my lips, I don't use any lip product. So I'm just going to take a Q-tip and I do have chapstick on right now. So that's going to help take this foundation off. You can use a napkin or whatever. I'm just using a Q-tip because it's like right in front of me. going to reapply my chapstick. For my eyebrows, since I don't do them, I'm going to just brush them out with a spoolie. And this will take off any excess um, foundation that you may have as well. I'm going to go into my Too Faced Dark Chocolate Solier Deep Tan Matte Bronzer. And I'm going to use my uh, Dirty in gold contouring brush. <laughs> I'm gonna fill that on both sides of my brush because it does have this little hole, it's a little bit hard to pick up product, so I just like do this like weird thing. To contour my nose, my cupid's bow, and under my lip, I use this brush right here. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of blush. And this is the LA Colors Rad Rouge blush in the color As If. And I'm going to apply that with just... Take any fluffy brush that you have. I'm also going to take a little bit and just swoop it down the center of my face. And a little bit on my neck. When I'm feeling a little extra, to take some highlighter. I'm just using the ABH Sweets palette. And I'm going to go into this shade right here, Taffy, with my little fan brush. Just to give a little like natural glow. Usually I would spray my face with setting spray just to make it pop a little more. But because we are going for a more natural look today, I'm just going to lightly dust this on the high points of my face. And I do want to put a little bit in my inner corners as well. So I'm just going to pick it up on my finger. And I'm just going to wipe off the excess product on my lashes from like the foundation and powders. And I feel like it's really light, like, in my eyes. So I'm just going to take this brush right here and dip into my bronzer. And I'm just going to add a little bit in my crease. Just to give us a little bit of dimension because I feel like it's really flat. See how that, like, makes a little difference? Okay, and this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was kind of like, what the fuck? Because um, I didn't show you any makeup, really. I just showed you like my foundation and bronzer. Like, wow, Kristen. This is just like a five minute makeup, um, no makeup makeup, natural makeup, uh, ready to go makeup, you know, that kind of thing. You know, because some of us are always in a rush and don't have time to do their makeup. So this is just personally what I do when I don't have time to do my makeup. You know, I don't have time to do my eyebrows. Eyebrows take me like 10 minutes by itself. So... Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.